So happy people, hope you guys are doing great. Good to talk to you, lots of fun stuff happening. Uh, before anything else happens though, I wanna say thank you for everyone that showed up for our little last minute uh, cleanup day that we did. So like we had 48 hours, we just kind of threw it out there like, well, let's just see if someone wants to show up and come, you know, help clean clean stuff with us, even though it's like last minute. And you guys did, so let me send you some footage to a few days ago here. Benny, is this fun? Yeah, it is. How is picking up trash fun? Because you're helping the environment, not leaving trash, so it's keeping it nice and healthy. Wow, well done. Livy, you're not you're not pulling your load, baby. You're really not, you're not doing nothing. I tried to tell her, she wasn't having it. Okay, let's tie it up. Do you ever watch us on YouTube? Yeah. And what do we look like? We look the same. The same! Come on again, let us know uh, down below if you guys want to do anything like that in the future. Promise we'll give you more than 48 hours notice, but I can't believe people just showed up just last minute. So you guys are awesome and you're amazing. Okay, so with that today, my wife is taking the red eye. She's flying down to Phoenix, Arizona. She's taking baby Livy with her. Uh, this is her youngest brother, Isaac's uh, high school graduation. So she's gonna go do that. She might also have some news to announce uh, somebody moving here. So that should be happening. Like, so the whole family would be going down, except I don't know if you guys have noticed, but flying to Alaska, the prices are outrageous. I've never seen anything like this before. Like it's uh, like you can leave Alaska, no problem. But coming here, it's about double what I've seen in the past. So unfortunately, just be my wife and Livy going down, but they should have a good time. Always good to get around family. So with that, uh, my wife's gonna get packed all the things. Grandma's over here giving last minute uh, loves and squishes to, to little baby Libby. So do this. I can do this. Like I got kids so we should be able to hold the fort, right? I'm almost grown up. All right, let's go get in the plane. First time I Hi, ever Sissy. Saw you. I fell in love when you love entered you. the love you too. Be good, okay? Big helper. Okay. Made my holiday. <laughs> so awesome. All the way from New Zealand. All the way from New Zealand. That is awesome. In the Fairbanks airport. <laughs> what a small world. What a small world. Universal of Phoenix, where the local time is approximately 11.30 a.m. So we did make up a 
little bit of time there. We made it! You did such a good job! <laughs> Hi, okay. I was almost going to record on my phone and I was like, yeah. Hi, Olivia. She's huge. <laughs> I know. You're gonna just eat her. Did you see? Do you see us on FaceTime? Here like, we I'm are. Rich. She's like I'm so hot. How did you, did you, did you take a ride on an airplane? Did you come see that one? I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> she says, Mama, I'm a world traveler. She knows Emily. Look at her. Look at her. Do you remember? You this you is your Ryo. You want to go see Papa? I'm already feeling moist. Huh? Look at those Why are you wearing a sweatshirt? Because it was Julia on the plane. It's it's Julia. Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I am in the good old Arizona at my family's house. Big things. Big things happening. Okay, so we flew here. I've been here a few days. Flew. Olivia did amazing. We were able to have a really, really, really great flight, which I was super grateful for because, as you know, not the best flyer in the world. Here for my brother's graduation. And we're gonna share something. Okay, we're gonna share a little something. There she is. <laughs> Two days ago. Two days ago. Ryland left to North Pole, Alaska because as of the 30th, he will live there as of the 30th first. I will live there. <laughs> <laughs> He's currently driving. He just made it through the Canadian border two hours ago. And then we leave on the 31st. Me, Aspen, Jessica, Olivia, my mother, and my brother, Isaac, will all be going there. His brother, Reagan, is also going to be there. He's, he's traveling. With yep, he's traveling with them. So that Ryland doesn't have to do it all by himself. Right. <laughs> so they're the ones moving to Alaska. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited, she's, actually. She's very excited. We're very excited. We hope we don't kill each other. I mean, that's in the back of the brain. We haven't We've lived with each other. Like lived around each other. We're not living together. No, 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 no. But around each other since you were- Since I was five. Five years old. So things have changed. I'm 24. So. And we won't say how old I am. So <laughs> I'm a little older than that. <laughs> Super excited. And then what's the other news? Well, <laughs> I look huge. I look like a tent. You do not look this like a tent. This shirt is not the, wait. There you go. Oh, she's <laughs> pregnant again. How again. far along? How far along are you? I tr just turned 18 weeks today. Just turned 18 weeks. I'm already almost halfway. Can you believe it? Oh my stinking goodness. So I get another niece and a ne or a nephew. You're not mm -hmm. gonna find out, right? No. Not gonna find out. Aspen is growing leaps and bounds. So she's gonna have little Olivia as a little friend. She's a year and a half now. She's a year and a half. They're t uh, 10 months apart. I think so, I think yeah. they're 10 months apart. Oh my gracious. Okay, so that's the big stinking news I can't believe it so she's actually getting ready out we're headed to my brother's um, closing ceremonies for Awana if you recognize Awana you know Bert and I have been involved in Awana for a really really long time all of us all of us all of us all of us have been uh, so he's gonna go get the final award for the which is the citation so I might show a little sneak peek of that little glimpse of it super proud of him it's so awesome we've just been going turning and burning he's got his graduation tomorrow all the things but let's send it back to Bert I'm sure he's got tons of, he's got a, he's got a busy schedule. He's got a busy schedule I left him with. So anyway, we want to share that with you guys. We're so excited. Ow. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Send it back to Bert. Someday I'll go back to Alaska. Take my roots in way down deep Keep the fire slowly burning And let it Hello happy peoples, hope you guys are doing great. As you saw, my wife is in Arizona and we are just barely keeping our heads above water because, uh, wow. Yeah, my wife's awesome. Honey, if you're watching, you're awesome. I know you're watching because you're editing this video, but babe, you're awesome because uh, you do a lot and you kind of forget how much you do until you leave and but we're doing fine everyone's safe everyone's doing good except for the mosquitoes i assume you guys have seen the news you saw who's moving here pretty exciting family dynamics lots of changes I thought i would do is just kind of briefly talk about some of the steps or things that you should probably do in my opinion before you move to alaska just a few things that you might not think about uh, as being a super high priority um oh by the way we have wood delivered so 
hallelujah praise. This actually might be one of the priorities if you plan heating with wood, getting that done early in the season, definitely a plus. But above all else, having a place to live. I know it sounds weird, like we have the largest state in the United States, tons of land, but right now it is hard to find a place to live in many areas of Alaska. Uh, and when you can find it, rent is really high or the cost of the property is really high. So you might look at trying to lock that down before you come here, just a tip. So like Rylan and Emily are able to live right in our shop and that'll give them a good, you know, a stepping point for if they want to get a house or what they want to do, but they had that secured, which is perfect. The next thing is a job and there is just tons of opportunity here. If you are an honest worker uh, that has some skill, like it is endless possibilities for work here. But what I'd recommend you get is either a backup job or your primary job when you get here try to line that up beforehand uh, Rylan was able to get that done and in it's awesome right so he has actually two or three different gears he could shift to as far as work goes here and that's just how it works it's kind of like who you know and if you have a good reputation you do really well so having the job locked down definitely be uh, a high priority or at least a backup job uh, the third one is a vehicle and there are plenty of vehicles here, but the ones that are here are extremely expensive right now. So Ryland and Emily are driving up a Honda Pilot that's already been winterized, so that's a plus. So they got in front of that one, but for you guys too, just making sure you have a car that's winterized, that's affordable. You know, if you plan on just coming here and buying a cheap car to drive around, it's gonna be really hard. So try to maybe get that locked down, I think will we'll help you guys out quite a bit. Oh, a support system I think is actually very important here. And that's kind of that feeling of community, right? So whether you have uh, friends, family, co-workers, or maybe your church family, uh, just find a group of people that if you get in a bind, like if, you're, if your boiler shuts off in the middle of the night and you need to have someone help you, uh, or there's something major or catastrophic, we live in a pretty dangerous state. So having someone that you can lean on as far as a support group is definitely a plus. And right now that'll be myself and my wife will be the support group for Ryle and Emily. And then this is actually a question we get a ton of questions about, and it's like, what do you wear here in Alaska? Uh, in the cold and then you see me I go out usually in my t-shirt usually it's something like this and it might be 30 or 40 below zero and you guys make fun of me but I'm really trying to show you guys that it's the cold is something to respect but don't be afraid of it it's okay um, so when it comes to cold weather we just really to be honest we don't go outside for long durations when it's super cold now if you do go outside in long durations you're gonna probably want like bunny boots uh, which they don't even make anymore you have to go to like a military surplus store those are the extreme cold weather stuff and then refrigerator wear for like your outerwear or uh, also Carhartts lots of layers uh, but guys when it's soup when it's when it gets colder than about 20 below zero you just don't want to be outside very long because it's just not as enjoyable you anyway, I hope that helps there's just a few things we're really excited they're coming here like I said family dynamics are gonna change Man, this is, uh, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great so if you guys do plan on moving here just a few things and actually leave a comment down below let me know if you've moved here or if you have any other ideas of things that you think you should get done before you get here leave a comment down below love to hear about it maybe you can help someone out and with that let me go and send you back to my wife uh, in Arizona and check on them see how they're doing Oh.
getting situated, I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming out tonight in support of our clubbers and all the hard work that they did. We have gone through and completed 10 books in Awana. We have two that are completing and receiving the Citation Award this year. Isaac Meyer. Okay, so I think we're gonna call it a night. No idea what was filmed back at home, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, super exciting, fun things on the horizon. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I have all the things, and there's probably gonna be little snippets here and there of the things that I'm doing in Arizona here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, whatever it might have been, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye. YouTube channel. Beep. Oh no, you gotta try to catch it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs>